Hello, I'm Harold Jones, Dean of the School of Health Professions at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Thank you for joining us for another in our continuing monthly series of interviews with experts within our school. These leaders are helping to shape the future of health care by tailoring innovative solutions to real world problems. Today's discussion topic is biotechnology, a place where discoveries are being made that are changing the face of health care. To talk about this subject with us is Dr. Kathy Nugent. Dr. Nugent has over 20 years of experience in the biotechnology area and she serves as the program director for our program here in the School of Health Professions at UAB. Dr. Nugent also serves as the president of the Biotechnology Association of Alabama and brings her expertise and her talents to the design of our new biotechnology program here. Kathy, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. The first question I want to ask you is, would you please define for us what biotechnology means, how that's different from the pharmaceutical industry, and give us a little bit about your background and experience in biotechnology. Biotechnology can be defined as using our understanding of biology and biological processes to make products that will improve the quality of human and environmental health. Now, the question of how is a biotechnology company different from a pharmaceutical company is an interesting one. And it's actually one that I get asked quite often. And I think probably the easiest way to identify the difference is simply that a biotechnology company is much more focused on the discovery and the research and development engine and a pharmaceutical company is much more focused on commercialization. And I think as we go forward, probably in the next 10 to 20 years, the, that question won't be asked anymore because biotechnology and pharmaceutical companies will become synonymous with one another because they really do need each other to develop drugs. My background in terms of how I got into the biotechnology industry is interesting. I've been in this industry for about 20 years now. It was never my intention when I was getting my graduate degree to actually go into the industry. I just sort of um, haphazardly landed there, um, and fortunately so. I have a PhD degree in um, uh, pharmacology, actually, so I'm a scientist by training. But what I have done for the last 20 years is consult with biotechnology companies, specifically emerging stage biotechnology companies, on how to advance their products through the clinical development um, process. Based upon your experience in the biotechnology industry, what do you see as the major workforce needs? That's a really good question. and. Um, it's changing and it has changed over the last 10 years significantly and the reason for that as to where biotechnology companies have in the last 30 years really been focused on the research and development end of bringing a drug to market the fact that we've had some of those companies around now for 20 to 30 years means that we have uh, a lot of biotechnology products that are now entering a uh, commercialization phase. So the workforce demand has changed pretty dramatically in terms of we need people who do more than the discovery process. We need a workforce that can really bridge the gap from the bench to commercialization. So that covers every span of the continuum from a scientist who is still focused on discovery, but also on professionals who know what it takes to get a product from the bench into the marketplace. Tell me about the biotechnology program you have designed for the students here at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and a little bit about how that helps meet those workforce needs you just discussed. Well, first I have to say that I think our biotechnology program that we have developed is really unique and it's the only one of its kind in the world actually. And what we've done is we've taken a step back and we've looked at what are the needs of this industry and how can we best prepare students for it to fulfill those needs. And what we've done is we've combined um, a biology-based curriculum with a business-based curriculum. And it's not business in the traditional sense of, of accounting, you know, finance, things like that, although we do cover those uh, subjects. But it's business in terms of what do you need to do to develop a biotechno to create a biotechnology company, and how do you get that product financed and get it into the marketplace as quickly as possible. 
I also know that you're a major leader in the biotechnology industry here in the state of Alabama. Could you tell us a little bit about how biotechnology can help the general public and secondly how it can serve as a source of economic development for the state of Alabama? Well, when I think about biotechnology in terms of our state here in Alabama and really nationally, the impact of biotechnology is twofold. One is it does provide uh, economical benefits, and I'll discuss that in a few minutes, but it also meets unmet medical needs and environmental needs. Frankly, there are lots of diseases, even though we've come a long ways in terms of treating cancer and other diseases, there are still many diseases that we don't have adequate treatments for, like Alzheimer's disease, like Parkinson's disease, um, and cancer. Even though we've been fighting that war for a long time, we've come a long way, we still need better therapeutics for it. Um, and of course, if you think about the environment, we still need uh, more efficient, you know, alternative fuels for uh, alternative energy, for example. Um, and so biotechnology is the answer to those questions. It is through biotechnology that we will find new therapies and therapeutics to treat those diseases. Economically, the impact of biotechnology is huge. For example, if you think about Alzheimer's disease, a disease that we still don't have adequate therapies for. If a company were to identify a drug that could delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease by five years, the impact would be huge. That would mean essentially that you'd have about 1.5 million less Americans living with Alzheimer's disease, which would translate into uh, a medical cost savings of about $50 billion per year. So econo the economic impact of that on just one disease would be tremendous. Now if we think about it in terms of the workforce industry and what people can expect who are entering this workforce, they can expect the job opportunities to continue to grow um, in every area from being a scientist working on the bench to being part of the clinical process that um, the team that gets a drug through development right up to the team that talks to the FDA on how we're going to get this potential drug approved. And the, um, the salary on general is about 16 percent greater than that of other um, salaries in, in other industries. Kathy, thanks again for joining us and sharing your expertise with us about the field of biotechnology and how that's impacting the state of Alabama. Thanks for having me. If you'd like to learn more about the biotech program here at UAB, go to the website uab.edu slash biotech. If you'd like to make comments or ask questions about today's interview, please contact us at uab.edu slash shp slash contact. And if you'd like to learn just more about the School of Health Professions at UAB, go to our website at uab.edu slash shp or join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash uab shp. Once again, thank you for joining us today. My name is Harold Jones. I'm Dean of the School of Health Professions at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, where we are shaping the future of healthcare by tailoring innovative solutions to real-world problems.